when we are talking about social media nowadays, I'm getting the feeling that we are using social media to make a statement. Uh, with making a statement, as we saw two weeks ago, you can win the Eurovision, right? But what did it bring next? Some others are using social media to push their message to us. I'm not sure if you were watching the Eurovision. This was the Polish participant to Eurovision 2014. You can also take a different approach and you can try to engage with your audience and just do a damn good job, despite the fact that critics were not sure whether you would make it. By the way, thank you, Poland, for the 12 points that you gave to these great singers coming from Holland. I'm from Holland myself, that's why I'm talking English to you today, uh, because uh, move you talk about Polsku, but maybe it's faster to stick to my time limit to do it in English. Uh, Dutch would be better, but m maybe not for you. Um, it's about doing a damn good job, in my opinion, and that's what, what, what led them to, the, to, to lead the hit charts after the Eurovision. Now, we didn't hear about Poland in the hit charts, and we also didn't hear about Mrs. Wurst anymore, uh, or Mr. Wurst, or quite a strange name to be named Wurst if it's not sure if you have one. Uh, you, people were claiming that he or she was abusing, you could also say using, but others were saying abusing the platform. And dear marketeers here in the room, I would like to ask you right now, to be honest with yourself, are you using or abusing social media? Who's using social media? So the rest is abusing? That's a lot. That's what I thought already. Um, it's high time to stop that. Because if you won't stop that, the user will stop you. Because in our social media age, it's no longer you who is in the driving seat. When we had newspapers, you could decide what advertisement you would put in there. You can decide what kind of billboards you want to show to me. But on television, it's already getting harder. If you put an advertisement on television that I don't like, then I zap away. On social media, it's even stronger. If I do not like you anymore, I will just unlike you, unfriend you. You won't be able to reach me anymore. If you want to reach me on social media, you have to do a damn good job, just like the singers. And that's not an easy one. I'm not here to tell you today that you have to use social media for your marketing and that that will be easy and that it will give you a lot of money. If others are telling you that, be aware. I'm not sure whether they are sharing the truth with you because it's not that easy. If you want to be really in charge on social media, you will have to engage with your audience. You will have to provide them great tools, great content, whatever you have to offer to them and then it might be leading to your king role in social media. But it looks like many brands do not really know what they are here for anymore. Somebody's having fun on the corridor. Um, they at least know what they are here for. Um, to have fun and to interact with each other. But brands seem to be so self-focused on their own goals that they forgot that they have to serve us, us consumers. They became too selfish. And Natalia Hatalska, who will be on stage later today, had a very great interview around this topic in her trend book 2014. If you didn't read it yet, please go to her blog and, and download it. And no, she is not paying me for this uh, for this advertisement space. It's just a gift, yeah, and whether you like it or not. But liking is not what it is about. The fact that I was asking whether you like InfoShare, whether you like the band, whether you like a page, what does it, what does it mean? 
How hard is it to like a page? It's just one click. Click, like. I think many, many users are even not aware of that very minor click. But brands treat that click as magic, really. Because they believe that from that moment they have you in their pocket. They can bombard you with their message. They want you to become a buyer. Or they want you to do whatever other conversion if they are not trying to sell something. But increasingly, likes on Facebook especially are useless. Because Facebook is clever as well. Facebook also understood that marketing marketeers are using Facebook as a new marketing channel. Television is not bringing enough, so we are looking for something new, right? Social media, the new kit on the block, let's try to use it or abuse it. That like does not mean you will be able to reach the consumer. That like means maybe an intention of a consumer that he wants to listen to you. But you will have to make that he will keep listening to you by great content. Otherwise, such a page like is really useless. And besides, you will have to get used to the fact that you will have to pay for your visibility on social media. And that's something new. We treat it as rather strange. Uh, we are used to the fact that we have to pay for newspapers, although it's getting less and less because there is hardly anybody who wants to put this advertisement in the newspaper anymore. Uh, and, this, and something similar is happening to the radio and television as well. But we were used to the fact that we had to pay for it. On the internet, it sometimes looks like everything has to be for free. But what I don't understand then, then is why are the services that you offer through the internet not for free? Now, that's a, something to think about. It's hard after lunch. Um, nothing on the internet is free. Either you give in your privacy, uh, you give something away, you give knowledge away, but yeah, you have to pay with something, and that's the same for brands. That, that channel is so powerful, the, the, the time that you can, can use there uh, of the user, the, the time you can consume, the attention time that you will get, is so impressive that it's worth paying for, at least if you bring the right message. We already got used to that on search engines. In the beginning, we were focused on really making that our website was standing out from the crowd uh, to be, uh, to be uh, visited. At a certain moment, we started using black hat technologies. We started fooling uh, uh, Google and, and Bing and other search engines to be highest in the list. But of course, these Googles were more clever than us uh, people who were trying to fool the SEO rules. And something similar is happening today on social media, if you ask me. People are trying to steal private information by scraping social media platforms, like Facebook. And that's illegal. That's not compliant with the terms of services. Because they don't want to pay, they want to go for the big audience. In the presentation here, before this one, before the break, you could already see the sentence, less is more. And I couldn't agree more. The same might be applicable on social media. Why do we as brand managers try to focus on a million likes? Why do board managers like it to see dashboards where they can see the dramatic increase in, face of in page likes? I don't understand it. And I've been visiting uh, several marketeers at, at, at big companies here in Poland and in Holland as well. They are so focused on increasing the amount of, of followers, uh, likers, uh, that they forget what they are doing this for. They forget that they are doing this in my opinion, to have an interaction with the user. And wouldn't it be great that your user, who is standing on the, on the platform of a railway station or a metro station, has a look at your app, and you manage to create that smile. And you had a great interaction with a very happy, happy user. What's, what's the value of that, a happy user?
we know about the sales funnel, I presume. And we know that we have to generate leads to, to, to get to a sale. In fact, you want to use social media, in my opinion, for the same purpose. In, by the end of the day, you want to get something from your, from your investment in social media. So you could follow the regular sales funnel, but, but recently we thought out, it's, in social media, it's, it's slightly a different funnel. Uh, we call it the fan tuner funnel. Because in fact, what you want to do, you want to, you want to tune your fans. You want to know who you are talking to, what they are doing. But first, you will have to attract them. You will have to be attractive. And when you are going, and there is quite a young audience, I think. I cannot see, really see it well, but and when you are going to the, to the pub, maybe to pick up a new date, uh, you also try to be attractive, right? And then we are really investing time and, and money in ourselves. With your brand, you will have to do the same. Once somebody starts liking you, uh, indicates that he might be willing to do something more with you, just think back uh, to the pub again, um, then you might consider engaging. And now I don't mean that you sit down and kneel and give rings and stuff like that. Um, but, but you have to make that, that, that you will engage with, the, with, your, with your user and that the user can engage with you. But you have to provide him that opportunity. And once you are at that stage, then you have to start really taking care about your, 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 your follower, your friend. Um, you have to make that he, 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 he feels satisfied and that he, he stays with you and that he feels supported by you. And then we are more in the nurturing phase. And maybe, but I say on purpose maybe, because that should never be the aim during this process, then maybe he will convert. Maybe he will register, uh, buy something from you. It depends on your own strategies, what you want to achieve on social media. But then maybe he will convert, or she. But way more important might be what the value that this person can have within his or her network. By having access to that one person, you also have indirect access to, uh, to their network. And maybe there is the value of your investments. If this person is happy, there is a way bigger chance that he or she will recommend you to his or her friends. And just think a little bit about it uh, for yourself. If you are um, in front of an a, a important decision, something important in life, or, or changing a job, or buying a, a certain product, what do you do? Who are you talking to? Are you visiting some self-proclaimed expert? Or are you talking with your friends, with like-minded people, maybe a social media friend? I think the like-minded people will win, if we would uh, have to raise our hands right now, because we trust people like us way more than experts. So that's what we have to focus on. We have to make people happy and make that they will recommend us, because then we can say that we did a good job. And sooner or later, that will lead to sales. But then at least you have a sustainable relationship with your user, instead of having a million, two million, or even more useless likes. But this engagement is not easy. To be honest, it's, it's, it's damn hard. Um, and figures can prove it, that especially big brands are having issues with it. So this might be good news for the smaller companies, to be honest. Because you know, just have a look at this, this data, trumiasta.pl, they do not have such a, a, a very huge fan base, but their engagement is way higher than, than the famous brands. And I think that's, that's rather logical, because they really have to offer something to that local audience. Their, their content is really rich. It brings us something. We, we, we care about what they, what they say, Maybe we do not always like it, but at least then there is a lot of interaction around it. And the same is applicable to football teams. Uh, football is emotion. And when there is emotion, there is uh, potential engagement. What's the emotion behind Coca-Cola? I won't tell you that, they, that it's poison, but um, that's all it is. 
But to engage with your, with your friends, you will have to know who you are talking to. And depending on your uh, type of business, your, your audience, whether it's, it's a younger or an older audience, male or female, uh, tech savvy or not, uh, it's really important uh, to, to try to find it out. Because based on that, you can adjust your message. Uh, if you know that there are quite a, a lot of uh, creators, let's say, people who are uh, willing to, 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 to write things themselves, to share their opinion, then you can try to, to tease them. But it's also quite possible, especially here in, in, in Poland, in cen uh, Central and Eastern Europe, that maybe the people are not yet that outgoing, that there are more listeners. But that's important to know, because if you know what, your, what type of audience you are talking to, you can adjust your message, you can adjust your tooling, you can adjust your, your apps that you will use to, uh, to get in touch with, uh, with your fans. And then you let them do the talking. So in fact, now I should stop and I should let you do the talking. But I think the organizers are not going to like that because then it's going to take a very long, uh, it's going to be a very long day. Uh, but in fact, you should ask your uh, friends, your, your followers, your, your clients to do the talking. Let them spread the message. Give them the tooling to spread that message. Make them your ambassador. I can imagine that you will have something like, yeah, this is already something that I know. Fine deal. Uh, but I know that there are many brands fighting with this topic, M many big brands, because uh, like I said, we have been talking to them. Um, in case you would like to know more, uh, tomorrow we are hosting a workshop here at 11 o'clock. Uh, and, and you are uh, invited to join, although uh, seats are limited. So if you would like to join, you can go to the, to the Go Yellow stand in the, in, the, in the main hall, and you can register yourself for the, for the workshop. And there we will discuss with you, based on some volunteers who already subscribed, and let us analyze their, their, their Facebook page. And there we will discuss with you, based on those uh, uh, live cases, and also some cases that we, we have ourselves, what you can do uh, to have a different appearance uh, on social media. Yeah, that, that will open you up towards the user, that will make you uh, distinguish your brand from, from the others by really connecting with your follow, follower base, with your fan base. But that connection, that is what it is about. It's not about quick dates which are passing by day by day. No, you really want to connect with your audience. And that's what we would like to explain to you. I can imagine that you didn't hear about FanTuner. FanTuner is a new startup of, of the company that, that I founded uh, seven years ago. I f seven years ago, I founded Go Yellow. FanTuner is a recent spin-off that we started together with a social media agency in the Netherlands. Um, and, and those people are here as well, so and there's quite some knowledge present, and we would like to share that with you. So if you are triggered by this presentation, I'm not going to ask you to raise your hand um, because you already know that it would be useless, right? Because that hand, what can I do with those hands? I even cannot see who exactly uh, is, is, is pointing his finger to the, to the ceiling. Um, in case you are triggered, we, we would really like to interact because uh, after telling you, um, bringing you this message, we have, to, we have to give the right example, right? So we have to try to interact with you uh, to give and take, to see whether or not we will be able to, to engage and go to the nurturing phase and maybe sooner or later convert and do something with each other. We are most open to... Uh, sometimes it's slow. We are most open to, uh, to discuss that with you. Uh, we want to engage, we are open, but we, now we need a step from your, uh, from your side. Uh, you are most welcome at our stand. And in case you would like to know more, more about me, you can follow me on Twitter, and the presentation will be this evening on SlideShare as well. Um, so hopefully, uh, to wrap up, uh, I managed to make my message clear. Please, if you think social media is a great channel for you to communicate with your users, do it in a responsible and sustainable way. Do not abuse that beautiful channel because sooner or later, the user will just 
turn you off. Any questions? <laughs> Looks like we're done.